Hey guys, welcome back to Championship Muscle. Coach P here. Today's topic of discussion, I'm going to be showing you guys how to maximize your back workouts using dumbbells. Is it possible? I'm going to fucking show you right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to Championship Muscle. I'm going to show you three versions of bent over dumbbell rows that's going to help you isolate and engage your lat muscles. Every repetition, you're going to be able to squeeze at the top and engage those muscles and let the dumbbells come down and get that full extension of the lat. So follow me over here how I do this. I'm over here at the dumbbell rack and I'm going to grab a set of 25s. I know at these 25s that I'm going to be able to get my 15 to 20 reps. So watch out, I do these. All right, I've got the dumbbells in my hands. My palms are facing in my thighs and I'm gonna bend over slightly, bend at the knee, and I'm just gonna pull the dumbbells upward, but I'm gonna pull them back towards my hips and I'm squeezing my lats as I come up to the top on every repetition, just like this. Nice and steady, nice, good squeeze. When I hit that magic number of repetitions that I'm gonna do, I then rotate my hands. Now my palms are facing inward, and I'm gonna do this like I would do a bent over row with a barbell. Same principle, pulling up, squeezing the lats, keeping the lats engaged through the whole repetition movement. Just like this. And when I reach that number, where I can't do anymore, I'm gonna rotate the dumbbells outward, and I'm gonna pull into my back and squeeze the lats. And my back is on fire right now. Just like this. Okay. Whew, that was tough. Let me rack these up and I'm gonna show you another variation of a dumbbell row. All right guys, we're here at the next exercise. It's an incline dumbbell row. Another variation of the dumbbell rows. There's so many different variations you can do. I feel this one isolates me a lot because my upper body's leaning on this incline bench. So watch how I do this. The bench is at about a 45 degree angle. Now you could have the dumbbells just like they are now, facing straight down, or you could rotate them like this. I like doing them like this. They kind of allow me to engage the muscle a lot more. So all I do is pull up, squeeze my lats together but I'm engaged the entire repetition range, just like this. And I'm pulling towards my lower waist. Just like this. Nice and steady, controlled repetitions. And then if you want, when you hit that magic number, rotate your hands and continue doing the dumbbell rows, squeezing the lats at the top. And you'll really feel this burn because it's kicking my ass right now. Okay. Whew. I just showed you a couple of variations of the dumbbell rows that I've been taught and that I've executed over the years. Give them a try, let me know what you think. But again, use weight that you can handle for the controlled repetitions you don't want to use weight that you can't handle, that you got to use momentum to bring the weight up. You're defeating the purpose. So with that being said, I got a book out on Amazon, Untold Secrets of Bodybuilding, my 40 years in the industry, my sarcasm in it, it's getting five-star reviews. Get yourself a copy, it's a pretty good read. And I'm a product rep with Gene Pro Protein. Gene Pro is the best that I've used in the 40 years in the industry. Sugar-free, carb-free, and no flavor, mixes well in every beverage. So get yourself a cop, uh, get yourself a bag of it. This workout just kicked my ass. Get yourself a bag of it, use Coach P in the discount box and you get yourself 15% off. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the gym. Peace out.